Okay, the question today is how would I teach a woman to shoot and what gun would be my choice to teach them? Uh, well, to be honest, I teach women pretty much the same way I teach men. And the first thing I need to say is I'm not a big fan of learning with 22s. Those are great if you want to learn perfect gun control and you want to be a marksman. Uh, but I found that most people don't want to be marksmen. Most people want to be to shoot guns either for self-defense or for fun. Uh, and if you get into it for fun, then later you can get into the marksman aspect of it. But let's first let's have fun, or first let's learn how to defend ourselves. So I don't do the 22 route. I give them a choice between two guns. Uh, usually women choose one of the two, a specific one of the two. Uh, the two that I give them choices are of are a 357 Magnum 4 inch revolver or a 9 millimeter Beretta. As I have said, the women tend to choose the revolver. Uh, not exactly sure why that is, but I think it's mainly because they're more uh, practical. They like the simple manual of arms. You know, they like to just cock the hammer, pull the trigger, or just pull the trigger. They don't really care for a lot of fanciness, and they don't really care for 20 rounds. They're more practical. They know, you know, probably going to be one to three rounds, and I'm going to be done with what I'm doing. I'm going to be, have defended myself successfully. So they tend to go with the revolver. So what I do is I teach them with the revolver first. I use 38 special cowboy loads. That lets them feel what the explosion kind of feels like to shoot a real gun. Uh, and it kind of gets them used to that bang. It gets them used to the, the flash. And it gets them used to the manual of arms or whatever gun they choose. In this case, the revolver usually. So once they get used to the manual of arms, once they get used to the round going off, well then I'll move them up. I'll change them up a little bit. I'll switch them into something like this. Something that's now a little more suited for actual self-defense. Same manual of arms, same cock the hammer, same just pull the trigger. So they're not learning anything new, they're just getting used to that same round they were shooting, the 38 Special Cowboy Load, and now in a smaller platform. Something that's more suitable for an actual self-defense gun. Then that way they can learn to feel the, the, how this gun feels. Then they can start moving up in caliber. They can start moving up to a 38 Special, 38, a regular 38 Special, 38 Special Plus P, or up to a 357 Magnum. Don't underestimate women being able to shoot 357 Magnums. My mother's 5'1", 135 pounds. She can handle one. My sister's a little thing. She can handle one. So this gives them a good self-defense gun. I have found women are very comfortable with snubby revolvers. A lot of people don't think of snubby revolvers anymore as primary self-defense guns. Women want something practical. Like I said, women tend to be more practical than men. They like the clean manual of arms, the simple manual of arms, and they like the fact that they know they're going to only fire one to three rounds. So this is powerful enough for them. It has enough capacity for them, and they're comfortable with how they shoot it. So it makes them feel confident, and they feel capable because they've learned how to use it. So that's how I teach women to shoot, and that's what I teach them to shoot with. And the main goal for me usually is to get them into something like a snubby revolver. I know some men like to buy their women, their wives, their girlfriends, their sisters, their mothers, you know, the new Wonder 380, the little lightweight polymer 380s. I found that women don't like racking slides. They just don't like it. Uh, they don't like dealing with magazines. They don't like clearing jams. So of course, there's women that do. I mean, I don't like those things all that much myself either. I'm a revolver guy. So I've found that most women are more than comfortable with this. They're not as comfortable with the 380. I see so many uh, posts on bulletin boards. I bought my wife this little semi-automatic and now she hates it. So, you know, learn them, teach them with a, semi, a revolver. And if they want to go up to semi-autos from there, let them. But this is a great way to learn. Okay, shout outs. Uh, I'm uh, doing videos here for a couple of different contests today. So I'm going to do all my shout outs just kind of as one video and attach it to all of them. Uh, so bear with me here. Uh, you know, I'd love to give shout outs to, uh, to people like Never Enough Ammo, Guns and Gear. I mean, I love their channels. I like the way they what they do for the community. I, I just like listening to them, like watching them. Uh, so those guys, you know, those are great. Guns and Gear, gun websites, you know, they're just, they're just infinite levels of uh, information there and great people behind the information. So those are all great, but I'm going to try to concentrate on smaller channels right now. Uh, one is going to be uh, Mr. Cleaner Nash. Uh, his videos are usually about guns, knives, some shooting at the range, uh, some actual range shooting videos, not these doctored up, uh, you know, do 10 takes and use the best parts of each one to make me look like I'm some sort of tactical expert video. I mean, just actually guys out having fun shooting kind of videos. Uh, he's more into knives than I am, but his stuff's all pretty interesting, and he's actually been very supportive of my channel, so I want to give him a shout out there. Uh, Wolvie123. His are uh, guns, knives, gear, smaller channels starting up. 
uh, found it to be pretty interesting so far. Uh, I've liked some of the stuff he's done. He does some, uh, he's done some reviews on some guns I'm very interested in that I've never ever owned, never pulled the trigger on yet, so to speak, and, but I've always kind of wanted. So I've been interested in watching some of his videos. Uh, Hyron7, and he's very new to videos. I mean, he doesn't have very many videos up. He's got a couple of gun videos up, some knife videos up, some uh, Columbia Rivia, River knives, which are good to me because I'm in that area. I live in the Columbia Gorge, uh, right on the in Washington State. I live right on the Gorge. So, I like his knife when he does the reviews of those knives. <clears throat> He's even got some Chihuahua puppy videos on there. So, what more could you ask for? So, Hyron7. Another person who's been pretty supportive of me and, and, and made comments on my videos and watched is uh, Glockwork9. Uh, he's more into rifles than I am. Uh, he also does a lot more shooting videos. And, and, like I said, good shooting videos. Guy just out shooting a gun, not these, look at me, I'm a tactical expert. Look at me, all my gear. Look at me, how great I am. After 30 shots, after 30 takes, I got it perfect. You know, just real actual shooting. And, of course, he likes Glocks. Try not to hold that against him. But uh, those are a couple of shout-outs to some people I've been enjoying lately. And I, I just want to say thanks to everyone who's been enjoying my channel and has given me shout-outs. I never would have guessed that when I started making these videos that people are watching that they would have actually enjoyed them as much, much watching them as I uh, do making them. I thought they were all pretty self-indulgent. But I guess that's when, when you make something self-indulgent, people can really tell you like what you're talking about. So all you guys out there, keep making videos that you think only matter to you because when you really care about something and you really like it, it really comes through in the videos and it really makes it enjoyable watching. So those are my shout outs. Okay, something about me non-gun related that I like, something I enjoy. Well, I enjoy lots of things, hiking, camping, uh, watching television, enjoying the movies, tons of things. But I'd say the other great love in my life outside of guns is comic books, animation, cartoons, uh, just you name it, anything that's illustrated, I like it. Anything that has fanciful characters, superheroes. I collect action figures. I mean, not just your run-of-the-mill well-known characters, but everything from the old Sid and Marty Croft characters like Electro Woman here, who actually was played by Deidre Hall. Uh, the Midnighter from The Authority. You know, Timberwolf from The Legion of Superheroes. I literally have hundreds and hundreds of action figures. Uh, my office upstairs, before it became my uh, youngest son we just adopted's room, was covered floor to ceiling with action figures and animation uh, statues. I also collect animation statues. I also collect porcelains of uh, cartoon characters from Disney and Warner Brothers. I collect uh, the Goebel pieces, the people who make Hummel made a line of Warner Brothers characters. I have all of those. Uh, Warner Bro uh, Walt Disney Classics Collection which is a, is a high-end level of porcelains. You know, they're very expensive. They're very high-end. They look exactly like the characters. I collect those. I have hundreds of those. Uh, I collect animation art, you know, plates, anything that's uh, animation art related, I collect it. Sarah sells my house used to look like an animation museum until I got made to tone it back on the new house here. But uh, just... Tons of stuff I collect, anything animation related, I just love it. I have an encyclopedic knowledge of comic book characters and cartoon characters, which borders on amazing and downright sad for a man my age. Uh, but uh, that is one of my other great loves outside of guns. It won't protect me <laughs> like guns will, but it is something I really enjoy.